In this video we're going to be installing an e-loop system on this gated driveway. As you can see the driveway is pretty long and the gate operator board is also enclosed in this metal cabinet. So to navigate any potential signal issues we'll also be installing a long range antenna. As the driveway consists of loose gravel we are fixing the e-loop itself to a small paving brick. This will make it a bit more stable and minimize any movement. So firstly we'll open our cabinet and install the e-trans 50 onto the gate operator board. Make sure as always to cut power to the system before doing any wiring work. It's pretty straightforward in here, we just find the 24 volt power out on the board, the power of the e-trans device, and then we wire into the relay. Now we need to find a good place for the e-trans inside the cabinet. The e-trans is quite small and comes with a really good adhesive backing to fix it within cabinets like this. We then bore a hole at the top of the board enclosure to run the wire out to the e-trans using the step drill bit. Then adding a grommet for the wire to pass through and stop any water ingress. Next up we use an existing antenna bracket at the gate for the long range antenna. Simply drilled another hole through the bracket and screwed on the antenna. We ran the cable for the antenna down through the existing conduit here to keep it tidy. So once we have part of the board again we can see that the e-trans is receiving power okay. We now need to pair the e-loop device to the e-trans itself. Simply bring the e-loop beside the e-trans and press the code button on the transceiver. The orange light on the e-loop will flash twice and the transceiver code light will flash blue three times. The e-trans is now paired to the e-loop. You now have approximately a three minute window where the e-loop will calibrate itself to its surroundings. So take the e-loop to the location on the driveway where it's being fitted and simply wait for the red LED to flash three times. The e-loop is now paired to the transceiver and calibrated to its surroundings on the driveway. We now attach the e-loop firmly to its base plate and attach the long range antenna onto the transceiver. Give it a quick check with a magnetic object and you're good to go. 